Alright guys, what is going on? We're at day 42. I've just uh, come outside, I'm at work at the moment. I just thought I'd quickly run through how things are going. This is basically just going to be an update on everything. Macros, training, supplements, how much weight I've been pushing, how I'm feeling, etc. So without further ado guys, let's get into it. So like I said, it is day 42, six sevens, 42. I have been bulking officially on this series for six weeks. Um, but what I will say is that probably a week or a week and a half before I actually started this series officially, um, I was bulking anyway. So it's probably around about seven, seven and a half weeks total that I have been bulking. So, you know, I'm feeling, I'm feeling really good. What happened originally um, in the first couple of weeks, I started taking creatine, obviously, you know, up my carbs from about 200, 250 to like 500 straight away. Um, I said, you know, I said I was going to do this reverse diet. Didn't happen once again. Um, you know, I've complained to you guys before that the thing that I, I fuck up every single time I go into a bulk is I just do things way too fast. And that's exactly what happened this time as well. I'm not going to fucking lie. You guys can probably see it in my face. Um, I feel, you know, fatter around my face at the moment. And it's, it's not a good feeling. Um, you know, for the first three or four weeks, um, I was feeling amazing in the gym. You know, the pumps were there. Um, I wasn't getting soft. You know, I was waking up every morning with a nice flat stomach. Slowly, 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 the food catches up to you. And basically now I feel like I've got this little layer over my stomach and it's definitely, definitely um, fading out my abs, which sucks. But um, what I will do is I'll, I'll talk to you guys now. And when I get home on lunch, I'll give you guys a quick physique update. But uh, for now, yeah, training, honestly, training's been going fantastic. Um, those first few weeks were, were great. I was, my strength shot up originally. Over the last four weeks, it's probably, it's, it's been pretty steady. But, you know, the pumps have been consistent. Um, I, have, I haven't really had too many weak days, whereas when I was cutting, when I was low carb, there'd be days where I, I couldn't push two plates, and then I and then there'd be some days where I, I could push, you know, two and a half easily. Um, and then now, for example, on that lift, which is an incline press, I'm putting three plates on, on a um, hammer strength incline press. So, you know, strength has probably gone up. Oh, I don't know, 10, 15 percent, maybe 20 percent on some lifts. Um, so, as far as training goes, um, deadlifts. Now, I'm going to start on that because I hit deadlifts once a week for the first three weeks. And it took me over over a week to recover from those sessions. And on the last session, I did I was doing sets of eight with 170 kilo, stop, start. And at the end of that workout, um, my back just felt worse than it ever had before. And you know, it is good muscle soreness, but it just took so, so fucking long to recover. So I decided to, to cut the deadlifts. Um, since then, you know, my back workouts have been predominantly rowing and pull down movements. Um, I do want to start doing either rack pulls or, or deadlifts again, but you know, at the moment my back is feeling okay and I really don't want to, uh, you know, fuck it up again, to be honest. So I'm a little bit hesitant about deadlifts but they are an exercise that I fucking enjoy man it's it's an intense exercise it's really it's it's fucking awesome you know it's a, it's a true show of strength and that's what I like about it but um, as far as leg training you guys have probably seen a couple of my leg training sessions they've been going pretty good uh, the, the pendulum hack squat that I was doing sets of 10 with uh, three plates aside I'm doing sets of 12 to 15 with three plates aside so you know strength is definitely going up um, as far as you know, arm training, I'm definitely stronger on, on pushing movements. So your shoulder press, well, that's not arms, but your, your tricep movements. Biceps is, is pretty much the same. But you know what, what goes down really quickly when I start cutting is my pushing movements. And that also comes back really quickly 
when I start uh, bulking again and giving my body the nutrients it needs. So, you know, training's going good. My physique, as I said, you know, I'm feeling a bit fat. I'm feeling fucking, you know, bloated on a daily basis, but it's all part of it. You know, if I, if I do decide to do, you know, a, a short mini cut or something, um, I'm sure that I'll be able to shed that excess fat and be back in a perfect position to keep bulking. But at the moment, I'm gonna continue with the bulk, obviously, I don't wanna, I don't wanna stop. Um, so, weight-wise, um, I started this cut at 90 kilo, and I never, you know, the lightest I ever got was about 89. Uh, the first week went by, I went up to about 91.5, and it's slowly gone up between, it's, it's slowly gone up from about 500 grams to about 750 grams per week. So at the moment, after seven weeks of bulking, um, I'm at about 96 in the morning. So it's it's too fast, you know. At this point, ideally, I'd probably want to be at about 93. But with that said, the reason that my weight has you know gone up so fast is the fact that I, I I literally counted macros for the first two days. That's it, nothing. I was like, you know what? What I do best is eat intuitively, train intuitively, and I get bigger. And that's exactly what happened. So I have got bigger. I've definitely put on muscle, but you know that that layer over my stomach is getting a bit too much now. So going forward, I, I think I am definitely going to um, rein it in a bit. I'm going to start counting macros. But you know, as far as what my macros have actually been, I'd say they'd probably be at about 250 to 260 protein. Fat would pre be probably around about 100 to 120. And carbs, fuck mate, carbs have gone through the roof. I'd say they'd probably, honestly, on some days, be about 600 grams, maybe five to 600 grams, but the majority of my carbs I have before and after training. So I'll make sure, you know, two hours before I train, I have between 100 and 150 grams of carbs. And then following training, within, within a couple of hours following training, I've smashed down another 200. So that's 350 grams of carbs, just like that. But because they're around my training, my body is definitely, definitely, you know, utilizing it as, as well as I want it to. So um, that's, that's training, that's diet. Supplements, I've been making up my own pre-workout. So I've been having beta alanine, creatine, and caffeine, just straight three ingredients. Uh, that's been all right. As far as intra-workout, I've been using Glycoject, which is a carbohydrate supplement. You may have seen me get that. And also I've been having BCAAs um, throughout the day. I, I really love the taste of 5% Nutrition's BCAAs, so I've just been mixing it with water, morning, afternoon, night. Um, I'm, def I'm probably not drinking you know, straight water at the moment, ever. It's all uh, mixed with some sort of supplement. So, you know, that's all right. I'm probably getting through at least three or four liters of water a day. Um, so it's all good. Um, what else? What else is there? Basically, you know, everything's going pretty good. The, the, only, the only thing that is really fucking me off is just this little layer that's developing um, over my, my abs, which I, I really, I, you know, I'm probably up at about 15% body fat right now. Um, a major goal of mine, you know this fat-free mass index, right? With natural athletes, especially when you're trying to figure out who's fake natty or who's not, um, the num a number always gets you know, brought up, which is 25, and that is, it's apparently the natural limit for, for any you know, mere mortal to get to as far as fat-free mass index, um, as far as fat-free mass. So I worked it out. If I can get to 220 pounds at my height at 15% body fat or less, I will be at 25. I will have a fat-free mass index of 25, which will be fucking epic, because then I can say I'm at the maximum fucking natural genetic limit. And I believe, I believe, guys, that if I can, if I can maybe shed a couple, maybe three kilos, get myself back down to about 12% body fat, or maybe even a little bit less, and then continue this bulk, nice and slow, tracking macros, I reckon at the end of this year, I can definitely get that number 25. Uh, of the fat-free mass index. And that's a definite goal of mine. Whether it happens this year, whether it happens next year, or the year after, that's a definite goal of mine. I wanna be able to say that I've got a fat-free mass index of 25 or more. So that would be a major goal. But anyways, guys, it's, um, it's raining a little bit more now. I'm gonna go inside. Hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, the rain really is coming down now. 
Have a great day. Train hard, as always. Don't know what my client's doing right now. I've been talking way too long. I should really go and see. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Stay.